What's up guys? It's Aaron. Uh, haven't done this in a while, so gonna get back into this. You know, we got three uh, Halo 4 gameplays, so this game is pretty old, but they're all from AJ. So I have Xbox Live, because I'm, I'm poor. And, uh, you know, let's try to do this. Feels right. Feeling the right setting. Feeling good. Using hand motions, even though you can't see it like I always do. Your things are just feeling right. Alright, so let's get into this. I just, I came into here... I was talking to AJ saying I wanted to make another commentary and I found these on my hard drive and I asked him for some topics because I suck at making topics. I just pick random things that don't have much meaning and today I wanted to pick something that had a little bit of meaning and um, it used to be a hard story for me to tell because I mean it's it's about my life and I know not many people care oh your life whatever blah 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 everyone has tough things that happen and you know you probably had stuff worse but I just thought I'd share my story because, you know, it's a good story and I'm able to look back on it and still be happy with what's been going on in my life and why I haven't been able to post lately or the past couple years I haven't posted much and uh, here we go. So started off around two years ago, my uh, my parents, they got a divorce and you know, it was, it was kind of hard but I kind of thought hey, this is going to happen because they've always they always had problems and they fought a lot and it was just it wasn't I don't know I didn't want it to happen but I kind of thought it would and I, it's still sad to me that they did because my dad and, uh, I don't know it's just it's my parents it's weird that they're still not together but they got a divorce and um, so I lived with my mom and my dad had visitation and this wasn't bad this was you know what I mean I still got to see my dad I got to see my mom because I lived with her, and it was like that for a few months, and then uh, my mom, on New Year's, New Year's Eve, she went out on a date, she didn't say who it was with, she just said she was going out, and she said not to tell my dad, so my dad came by the house, and uh, like I was out in his car, because he wasn't allowed to come into the house, I was out in his car, and we were talking and he asked where my mom was and I just said I didn't know because she told me not to and he got a little angry because he knew that I was lying and he attacked me and I ran away before he could actually do anything and got to a house down the street and they called the cops and from then on I had a restraining order against my dad and I still I, I knew I don't know I just, I had a restraining order, and it was, it was weird, because I never thought he could do something, he never actually, he didn't actually get to attack me, because I was, I ran away before he could, but he grabbed me, and then got out of the car, and tried to get to my side, and I ran, and so I had a restraining order, and I lived with my mom, and didn't, he didn't have any visitation, because I had a restraining order, and about a few months into that, just living with my mom, uh, she told me she had a girlfriend and yes you're not hearing this wrong not like a friend that's a girl like a girl that she was dating and her friend was going to move in so her friend moves in and it was really weird so and I uh, at this time I'd be getting like I'd be going to church a lot like starting to and trying to get like I I don't know I've been I started going to church more because my friends wanted me to go and I went and I enjoyed it and I you know I liked the message whatever and my mom her girlfriend moves in with us and it was weird but I I don't know like I got used to it and they were nice and she was nice and they were both nice to me so I just like you know I was fine with it but a few months in I got I got an award for soccer uh, and my dad saw it on one of my things and took it off that and put it on Facebook and said he was proud of me and I, I didn't know because I don't have my friends with him on Facebook and, but my mom checked it and saw that he posted that picture and I got in trouble for it I was grounded for I, I, was, I don't know how long I was pretty much grounded for until for about half a year because of that and we would argue and stuff after that because she took away my phone. She wouldn't let me go anywhere. She stopped letting me go to church because she said I just went to socialize and I was only able to go to school 
and that was it. School and home, and we got in arguments every day, and it was just, it just wasn't, it wasn't good. So, after a few, like a few months of that, um, oh, I lost my train of thought, which sucks, but we argued all the time, and I tried to figure out a way that I could stay home, and it just didn't work out, so uh, last year, like around December-ish of last year, like 2012, she, my mom told me that we were moving to a city, like, I don't know how far away, but she said we were moving to Bloomington, and I really didn't want to, I wanted to stay where I am, I wanted to it's my junior year I wanted to finish I wanted to finish that and go to my senior year where I live now and it just she wouldn't let me so we got in even more arguments I got grounded for him even more internet taken away and I just wasn't allowed to do anything because it all started with something that I wasn't I didn't even do anything wrong and I was grounded for it but um then March came along so three months later, and she tells me we're moving on spring break, so I don't even get to finish out the school year. And that was, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I wasn't gonna, I was gonna do everything I could not to move in the first place, and then she said I was going to have to stay, like, move quicker, I mean. And so I, I, I don't know, I got really lucky, and, uh, we had a court date a week before spring break with my dad to figure out like what charges were going to be pressed and like the final hearing type thing and I went in told my attorney that I wanted to drop all the charges and move in with my dad and that day they dropped all the charges and I moved in with my dad and uh, I've been living with him well I lived with my brother because he didn't have a place to stay my dad stayed with his friend so I lived with my brother over summer and didn't have internet there but I got a phone because my I wasn't grounded with my dad and um, about uh, five months ago um, is my dad got an apartment so I moved in with him we got internet and we got everything that I really needed and my dad's been really good he's changed he's been going to church and stuff and everything's a lot better with him and I think it's just it's just a lot better but uh around five months ago my mom just stopped uh stopped talking to me like at all text calls anything i texted her on her birthday said happy birthday she didn't reply texted her uh happy thanksgiving no reply texted merry christmas no reply and she just uh you know i don't know so i haven't talked to her in months and that's uh and that's this my story summed up quickly because there's other stuff that was going on like uh just i don't know because i was depressed through some of it because of that and other problems like girl problems which is stupid and i know that but uh, i'm stupid so i guess that makes sense but um yeah i've been depressed a lot in my life and the one thing i've never gotten with people that have been depressed because i i honestly have been depressed like where i just every i don't have I just don't want to do anything like I everything feels so bland and like I feel unwanted and I don't want to do anything and I just I just sit around and just feel like crap all the time because I was depressed but I've never had the feeling of I'm depressed so I'm gonna kill myself and I've never understood I like I know people have that feeling but I never understood how or like why they get that way because even though I was depressed and I feel like no one wanted me I I still had a, I don't know, I didn't want to die, I didn't want to end my life, I wanted to keep living because I felt like something was bound to change, something was bound to get better, and it did, and it changed in the weirdest way, in a way I didn't expect, but it changed, and it's better than I could have imagined, and I don't know, so I guess that's a good thing, and that's, that's my life story, <laughs> but um, yeah so that's that and if you have any questions you know comment whatever i'll answer them i don't care 
I'm an open book sometimes about some things. This is one thing I am open about, which is weird because most people wouldn't be too open about this kind of stuff because it's family, personal life, but that's, I don't know, I'm a weird kid. But, so like I said, this was AJ's gameplay, and I was thinking about it when I was texting him and talking about uh, topics and all that stuff, was how AJ and I became friends. Because, I don't know, AJ and I are two years apart. I'm a, I'm a senior, and he's a sophomore in high school. And we've been friends for five years now, I think. And that's, like, when I think about it, not many people are, like, I, I was friends, I became friends with them when I was in seventh grade. So, not many people are seventh graders and friends with fifth graders. And I know that sounds weird, it's like, why would it matter? But it's just one of those things that not many people are like that. So, I just thought, we thought, why don't we tell the story, or why don't I tell the story of how we became friends and all the stuff we've been through and just, I don't know. But, so, we became friends by, uh, I was going to my friend David's house and he had a few people over and he has a younger brother that's, that's uh, AJ's age. And I went over and his younger brother had AJ over and my mom dropped me off and came in like to the room where all the kids were and was like, okay, uh, Aaron, uh, have some fun. And AJ was, I've never seen him before, never talked to him before. He looks at my mom and goes, oh yeah, we will. Like the most sarcastic way, but he had a little kid voice because he was only like a fifth grader. And everyone laughed and my mom was like, oh, okay. And I thought it was funny. And we hung out like the whole night, just me and him getting to know each other because we didn't know each other. And uh, I don't know, from then on we were just pretty much best friends. And we like, we hung out almost all the time. Like after school we would just hang out until like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and he'd go home and we'd hang out the next day, and it was just, no, no, it was fun, it was funny to be around, we made this channel together, we, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, I just say I don't know a lot, because I, I really don't know, it's just, it was just one of those random things that happens, and you just become a friend with someone, and it works out, but, uh, I got lucky because AJ, his best, like, pretty much AJ's best friend, other best friends, are my best friends too, like we're all really good friends because uh, of soccer. His friend, uh, my friend Blake, who he used to talk about when we were younger and I was like, I don't know who this kid is because he would talk about him playing PS3 and stuff and when AJ got a PS3 he would play with him and I was like, I don't know who this kid is but he always talks about him and then I met him like a few years later, like last year and he, we became really good friends. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like we all have like the same personalities. There's a little bit of differences here and there, but we all laugh at the same things. We all think the same things are funny, and I guess that's why we're best friends. But it's just weird how you become friends with people. It's so different for people. And uh, I just thought it was kind of kind of cool the way AJ and I became friends because it was such a crazy like circumstance that his that one of my friends' younger brother was friends with him and we became like better f yeah I don't know I don't know maybe it's not that cool of a story but I just I like it because AJ and I get along so well we made this channel and we've always been there for each other and uh yeah another thing I want to talk about to go along with I, oh, I don't know I'm not good at this Appre appreciating things like the little things appreciating anything it's like I appreciate some things but I, I need to get better at it because I've, all my whole life, I've never been good enough, if that makes sense. Like, I would do something right with, like, sports. And my dad would always say, oh, you can do it this way better. I'd score a touchdown. He'd be like, you have to score it this way. would be a, been a better way to score it. With grades, I could I could have gotten an A, like a 98% A. And my mom would be like, oh, you should have gotten a 99% A. And it was always something like that. So I've always had trouble appreciating when I do something good because I know I can always do better and I need to get better at it because I I don't know like I'm just used to now not feeling good enough which isn't a good way to feel and maybe that's why I've been depressed so much in my life because I've never felt like I was good enough and I don't know I just feel like it's a it's a thing that I wish I could appreciate and I've tried and I I've gotten a little better at it but I still have a ways to go because 
I don't appreciate things very much. And it sucks. And I don't know. I don't know how to make myself appreciate things more because when I try to, like, I could do something. I could. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just know that whenever I do something, if I score well on a test or do well in something, I always have that thought in the back of my head, or it's not really the back, it's like a forefront thought that says, hey, yeah, you did that well, but you could have done it better. You could have done this differently, gotten uh, the right answer on this one because you knew it, gotten this, could have gotten that. And it's just, that's how my brain works. My brain is always saying, you could have done better. You should have done better. And I don't know. Like, it's not, I don't think it's a bad way to think if it's in a smaller amount. But I think it's bad, like, in my case, when I'm everything, no matter what, I'm not satisfied with it. Because I feel like you should, I don't know. I say I don't know a lot, and that's, that's bad, see? I already, I'm picking the stuff up that I'm saying now, and I know it's a bad thing to have it to have. Say I don't know a lot, because people get aggravated about that. But, it's... Like when not ah gosh I keep losing my train of thought and this is bad too. But I just feel like I should mm, I should appreciate what I've done more than thinking hey I could have done it better. Because even though you can do it better and you can always strive to be better, you can be happy where you are too. I had a um one of on a test I had to take the essay question was do you think people are happy with where they are in life and my answer like can be happy with where they are or should be and my answer was they should be happy but they should still work to be further to get ahead to get like to be better because you can be happy with what where you're at but you shouldn't stay with where you are because someone else is always working harder than you is always working hard always trying to get better to try to beat you to try to get better than you and if you just are satisfied with who you are, they're gonna get past you, and I, I'm, I guess that's just me, not, uh, you know, the competitor in me saying, because I, I know a lot of people aren't, like, going, oh, they got a really good job, I'm gonna work and get their job in a better one, but, there may be people like that, but, I don't know, my, my brain works to say, try to, try to be better, always, because there's no point in, for me, Personally, there's no point in staying where you're at because you're gonna get bored. Someone's always gonna try to be better. So why not try to be better than everyone? Or better than yourself right now because you can't be better than everyone, but I don't know. I hope you understand what I'm saying because I'm terrible at explaining things. But um, I don't know. I guess to go along with trying to be better than everyone, I'll talk about my soccer season. My soccer. I play soccer. And I've played every sport throughout the years pretty much. And Soccer just stuck with me. I don't know why. I never got to play it as a kid, and I came my first year last year, and I was JV, and I played a few varsity matches, and I had fun with it. Soccer's just fun for me. And, uh, like, this year, the first few games, I was working, and I only got to start half of them on varsity. And, like, I, I played varsity only, but I only started half of them, which I didn't like because I knew I could... I was better than that. I knew I could play, I could start varsity and play it. And so I kept working. And halfway through the season, near the end of the season, I started in pretty much every game, every big game we played in against the tougher opponents, like our conference games, which we won conference for the first time in 10 years. And I don't know. I just I kept working and I got it and I I know I helped the team and that's one of the only things that I'll actually be that I actually feel like yes I did good enough I did my job because we did like the defense I played defense even though I didn't like I don't like defense that much I just I was kind of the coach put me there and I was pretty good at it but that was one thing that I feel like yeah that we did that right I did that right I couldn't have done it any better because we we had a really good defense and I felt good to be a part of it and yeah uh, I don't know what else to talk about I guess we'll talk about I'm in uh, BPA Business Professionals of America which uh, is fun I, I, it's uh, weird to say oh yeah business professionals that's fun but to me it is because we had a district um, which is like 
the schools in your district. I don't know how to say it, but we, yeah, we had that. And uh, I first time ever doing it, I destroyed everyone in the competition that I had, which was pretty much just taking a test over banking and finance, which I have no clue. I don't want to do anything with banking and finance. I'm trying to go to college for computer engineering, and I still... We did the banking and finance thing, and I, I got a 91 on it, and everyone else, the second high, the second place got an 85.5, so I scored five point five and a half points higher than them. And, you know, that's one thing I was proud of, too. That's one thing I appreciate, and I don't really feel like I need to get better, but that means I get to go to state and get out of school, so that's how it's done, right? Well, I don't know. I'm kind of rambling on now because this was a long video. But so yeah, I think I covered most of the stuff. I'm still trying to get Xbox Live, maybe an X, an X Bone, Xbox One, and I don't know. I just I haven't been in the mood to play video games much lately, and I I don't know why, but it's just how it's been. I've been just chilling, listening to music, and uh, trying to have fun with friends. But I need a car to have more fun. I don't have one yet because poor poor kid problems. <laughs> but hopefully these gameplays were good. I just kind of saw the saw a few of them and just put them in here. So let's hope they're good gameplays to go along with this uh, this commentary that probably wasn't too good and rambled on about stuff. But you got to learn about my my personal life and uh, all that stuff. So have a nice day, yo. That was a terrible outro, but have a nice day for real.